Hello everybody, this is Just Fall Game. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial. Because I have no other content lined up. Like, at all. And I'm leaving tomorrow for a couple of days. So I won't be able to record. Um, this, I know this is going up late. I, I had issues with the recording. That it big, scrapped it all together. Um, like, just the file size is too big to upload. 35 gigabytes. Anyway, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on Derizon Drag. Um, pretty much the only thing I know how to do is get the wolf bow. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to get the wolf bow as soon as possible. Uh, well, I probably not as soon as possible, but as soon as you would get it if you're playing normal without for like action. Uh, first step get the bow. So that means beat all three of these dragons. One in this room, there's one in the under tunnel down there, but in the anti gravity chamber, and there's one in the main first courtyard by double tap. Uh, I've just finished filling the third one, so I'm just going to grab the bow. Uh, if you're going for kind of like a speed run to get the bow, I, I don't even recommend getting a uh, quick revive just yet. Um, I just recommend going straight for it. Buy guns off the wall so you don't have to waste the point of getting locked. Um, second step, once you have the bow, is there are four paintings around the map. You've seen me look at one of them. This is another one. Um, you have to activate the painting in order that tells the story. So, there, yeah, one in that intercom, I call it. Uh, there's one in the clock tower. One right here. Story goes. King and the wolves. Um, and then we need to go. Uh, yeah, we go this way. Much map. Go. Um, a king and his wolves, a king riding into battle, and then next, picture of their eyes and track, so that's the clock tower, um, that's the third king, and there's that tentacle thing, the intestine, uh, during the peace break. And then now, I'm just gonna get a lot of points to open this door, because the next painting is there. And it's of a king dying in battle. Um, so, again, the order goes a king and a wolf, a king riding in battle, their eyes track, or battle, and then a king dying in battle. Um, so yeah, and the, the paintings are always randomized, so I recommend checking the locations that are closest to you first, instead of, go, or instead of like trying to play it off of memory and be like, oh, it was here last time, so I better run halfway across the map. There now. Now that we have all four paintings activated, oh, and you have to press F or square or B or wh whatever it is to buy things um, on whatever console you're playing. Now, the broken, unborn arrow, or reborn arrow, kind of breaks out of a wall. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is get some more points so that you can teleport. And I don't have the teleporter open at the moment, so I've got to get points, uh, 2,000 back, because we don't have the door open. Um, Okay, yeah, not a best friend. Um, so open the teleporter and then wall by. Nope, oh well, I don't. Teleport to the rocket test facility. And then, as soon as you get here, you're gonna wanna look over near the VM wall by. Right above it is a flag. You wanna hit that flag, dump. Oh no, I didn't the first try. Um, 
but it, yeah, it's gonna take practice to aim up there. There's one hit thing. Oh yeah, and then a dog skull falls down the mountain and you pick it up. Now as soon as you have the skull, you wanna go back to the teleporter, teleport back to the um, the uh, under place. Um, the antigrav, I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, up point, teleport, back to the grab chamber, and now once you get back, there's gonna be four pedestals that are over here near the real machine. One of them, not that one, that one is going to have a dog with two wolves on it. Place the skull near on the chamber or on the pedestal or activate the pedestal F. And this ethereal wolf. Now you need to follow him around the map and he will dig up a little spot and then you need to kill I think it 10, 15, 20 zombies around the spot um, and it absorbs their souls. As soon as you have enough souls to spot, he will go back, dig up the remainder of it, and there will be the bone master. So I'll do one of them and then I'll pause the recording and get this done. Uh, all you have to do is follow the wolf. It's really easy to follow. There's no like random location. Always spot. Um, yeah, see how all the souls just converge there and they'll go glowing pile of dirt. That is what you look for. As soon as you kill 20 zombies that do soul thing, then, or, I think it's 20 max. I think it depends on what round you He will go back and start digging. And as soon as you're done digging, there are bones there that you need to go and pick up. Now, as soon as you've got all three, like there's three locations, follow them around three locations. As soon as you have all three, then, well, I'll tell you next time, or when we come back. Alright, so, I'm back, and I've completed the third little dog thing, pick up the bone, and now, what you want to do, you're going to want to wait until anti-gravity comes back, so, wait, gravity, because you're going to need to wall run this next part. Um, nice couple of songs. Wish you could like press F on the girl, uh, pyramid real real thing and activate it. That would be um, Alright, here it comes. Now you're gonna want a wall run up here and I recommend doing it over here, but you're gonna shoot the urn that's in here. So shoot it with normal bow and I really recommend doing it from the left. The urn is like way on the left wall. Um, if you wanted to try, you could probably type it from like way over here. But I've never actually completed it doing that, so I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, see, it takes some It's a bit. And as soon as you've done it, you'll know that that little platform uh, comes out there for you to stand on. And, and so, oh. Well, I'll come back and show you what happens, or what happens next time. Alright, so now that anti gravity is coming back, um, you want to go up here. Oh, you've got to. Um, let's just quickly do this, I hope. Get the paper, platform off, and up. Alright, we've got the platform now. Stand on this. Press the activate button on the console. It is, and the remains of the king will give you the reforged. Now you're going to take the reforged there, and bring it over here to Wolf Bow Pedestal. Place it there. Now what's going to happen is you're going to need to get 20 or 30 kills, I think, aside, and it will absorb the zombie soul. Just like dog, or the wolf, um, so you're going to want to get 20 kills, and then 
after that, you basically got your wolf boat. Uh, there'll be a really cool, like, visual effect, like green ish blue uh, cayenne or teal or whatever, aqua, just shooting up. Um, I don't know, there, there are just really cool visual effects and certain sounds that notifies you that, oh, you the arrow. Walk up, the arrow, and, well, no, I guess the arrow kind of transforms. Oh. Um, so, yeah, you can walk up and pick up your wolf bow. Now, remember, it gets rid of your original bow. You can only have one at a time. Um, sort of like the stab for it. Um, yeah. So, kill all the here, and yep, there it is. Sound, I think, completed. Wait. That was the sound of anger. Probably. More souls. I had to give my bow, and now it's gonna do this fancy fireworks show. Here is your wolf bow, or the Friholo du Rimasel in pop, or I think. But anyway, this bow is basically a thunder gun, but with arrows. Oh, oh, oh I love it. Um, this I think is the easiest bow. To get. Um, and it's weakest, I also think. I've never actually tried it, I haven't had the rest of the bows before, but as far as I know, I'm, it's the, it kind of starts to die off being effective at about round 20, like between round 20 and 25, when I'd say it starts getting less effective. And that's with double tap. So, yeah, it just starts to slow down, and they'll get up again off the ground. Um, so yeah, that is the wolf bow, um, and how to get it throughout the next week, or the next four weeks, three weeks, I will be doing tutorials on how to get the fire bow, ice bow, and I think it's the wind bow as well, um, and we're gonna end it out on a panther, <laughs> see how effective this is against the guy that everyone hates, which basically not, not really that effective. Well, on round 12 it's effective, but on round 25 it's really not. Um, so yeah, that was my tutorial on how to get the wolf bow. There's probably some other way to get it by like round 2 something, but I just did it buying doors, get it the normal way for the round. Um, and I hope that you guys, or I hope that was enough to uh, look, get, let you guys learn how to get the bow. The next couple weeks, yeah, I'll, I'll have tutorials on the, next, the other bows, and then once I'm done all of those, I will hope to have learned the Easter egg. So I will try to get the Easter egg up. Um, guys, um, Tuesdays is Forza Horizon 3. Uh, and then. On the weekend, if I have time, I might put out a bonus video. Um, if I've got time or not, and if I've got a game, a good game to play or not. It all depends on what's going on. So that has been me, uh, Dustfall Gaming, and this has been the Wolf Bow, my favorite bow. Uh, and I'll see you later. Have fun, zombie. Have a good day. Like, subscribe if you want. Enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, if you dislike it, maybe tell you, or tell me why in the comments. Constructive criticism always helps. Um, so yeah, other than that, have a nice day. And, uh, best of something.